Hey folks, good morning. <clears throat> good morning, good to see you on here. Thanks for joining me. Uh, it is Tuesday. Tuesday, October the 18th. Isn't that right, Lily? Yeah? It's, what it's are you working a, on? It's a no. School. You're working on school? It's a no. No coffee this morning. But or I do know have, why you don't have coffee this morning? Because she doesn't brew. <laughs> Uh, uh, cranberry juice. Yep. It's good. What Do you have marker on your stomach? Yes. And his arm. What did you do that for? Tell him that was yesterday's What did you do? That was yesterday. That was yesterday? <laughs> well, why is it getting washed off? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> well, good morning. I'm driving the iPad. Yes, I know. You about drained the battery on my iPad. Yeah. Hey, come here. Good to see you guys. I uh, hope you're off to a good start. Tuesday, October the 18th. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah. Joke. I've been striking out on the jokes. Yep. I haven't found... The <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Why did the invisible man turn down the job? I don't know. Couldn't see himself doing it. Owen's waving hi. <laughs> oh. Ada's <laughs> left. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. Go. <laughs> oh. You ready for this one? I want to pick that over here. <laughs> might, uh, might not be appropriate. Let's do it. Okay. What has two butts and kills people? An assassin. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> oh man. That one probably wasn't what the best one. Mm -hmm. But it's so funny. Um, I'll let you explain that one to Lily. <laughs> oh, goodness. I will. No. I need that for work. Okay, focus. All right, focus. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm still cracking up. All right. We should probably go on the devotional after that one. Oh, Okay. Are you ready? Mm. We're going to talk about trusting God even when we don't understand. Um, if you've been with us on our Wednesday night Bible studies, uh, we're walking through the, the book of Judges. <clears throat> the Old Testament book of Judges. So after, after Moses and Aaron die... Um, uh, we're left, the Israelites are left um, with uh, kind of just wandering. You know, God wants, still wants to be their God. He doesn't want to give them a king because he wants to be their king. But the people just don't quite understand that. And so we see the, the common theme through the book of Judges is, is again, the people uh, did evil in the eyes of the Lord. And so um, that's just, that's where we are. And so if you want to join us on Wednesday nights, uh, do that. Come on out. Uh, you can hop right in. We're going to start in chapter 9, Judges chapter 9 this Wednesday. So, <clears throat> okay, but referring to Judges, uh, we're going to hit that a little bit this morning, trusting God when you don't understand. Um, do you know that many people ask God to guarantee their success before trying what he has asked them to do? But the problem is that's really not faith. That's not faith. Faith, uh, faith requires risk. Faith requires uh, doing without seeing or understanding. Faith means you obey even when you, when you don't get it. Right, even when you can't see the full picture. For example, uh, forgiveness. Forgiveness never seems like a good idea before you do it, but it's one of the greatest tests of your faith. See, when someone hurts you, uh, it might not feel right to forgive that person. It might not feel right at all. It may not appear just, but forgiveness is always the right choice. Do you agree? It's uh, regardless of, of, of whether you understand it or not. Forgiveness is always the right choice. Remember when you were a kid and, and maybe your parents or somebody uh, in authority over you told you to, to do something that didn't make sense to you? Um, but now you can look back with 2020 vision because hindsight is always 2020, right? 
uh, and understand your, your parents or, or those people's perspective. That's how God works. That's how God works. Faith is doing uh, what's right, even though it seems absurd, even though it seems crazy. And so <clears throat> our scripture for the day, you know it, uh, Proverbs 3, 5. And it says this, trust in the Lord with all your heart and rely on your, and do not rely on your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. See, you never know the whole picture. We never see the whole picture, but God does. God does. Um, we're actually given a, a fantastic example, a wonderful story of this in Gideon's, uh, Gideon's story in Judges 7. Gideon's story in, in Judges 7. See, Gideon ended up taking uh, 300 Israelites <clears throat> into battle against 135,000 uh, Midianite plus other soldiers. 300 versus 135,000. The odds were, were greater than 450 to, fi 450 to 1. Slow down a little bit. 450 <laughs> to 1. Uh, and, and God had the soldiers not take uh, bows and arrows and swords and spears and whatever. He had them take torches and trumpets and clay pots. I'm sure you've, you've you know the story. I'm sure you do, and and, and I'm almost positive that <clears throat> Gideon thought a lot of these things were a little bit crazy, more than a little bit crazy. So and you know the story. Then God told Gideon to, to to put the clay pots over the torches so the light couldn't be seen at night, and then go and surround the enemy camp. and And God's instructions were kind of like this: When I tell you to blow the trumpets, break the pots, and light the torches, and suddenly. Sh shine out that light in the darkness. And what it'll do is it'll look like a huge army surrounding the camp. It'll cause mass confusion. The enemy soldiers will start fighting each other and, and all this stuff. And you know the story. So Gideon obeyed. He did. And even though it didn't make any sense, 300 versus 135,000, um, the Israelites blew their trumpets, broke their pots, revealed the light, uh, and the enemy soldiers woke up in a shock, in a panic, and started fighting each other instead of the Israelites. They did. Because Gideon did what God told him to do. Even when he didn't understand it, the Israelites won the battle. It's, it, that, that's the whole story in a nutshell, right? You know the story. Sometimes God tells you to, to do something that appears foolish. If, it, 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 like going into battle 450 against one. But when you have faith, when you have faith, you'll obey God even when you don't understand what he's asking you to do. See, like Gideon and his soldiers, like Gideon and his soldiers, you can't live by faith without risk. But God sees the big picture with 2020 vision, and you can trust, you can always trust what he's asking you to do. So, <clears throat> how, do we, how do we work on that trust? How do we work on that? How do we dig deeper? I want to encourage you to, uh, to, to stick into your word, uh, to read more, uh, to study. Uh, to pray more, uh, to find opportunities to fellowship with other believers, other Christians, and, and let that iron sharpen iron. Dig in and allow your faith to grow through him. <clears throat> so that's all I got for you this morning. Short, easy, quick, simplistic, right? I think too often we overcomplicate uh, this whole uh, uh, church, Christian, religion, relationship thing. It's very simple. We just believe and we, and, and we obey. So uh, I want to encourage you today, uh, step out, do what needs to be done. Um, I hope you are successful in all that you do today. Uh, I, will, uh, I will be into the church uh, later this afternoon. I've got some things going on this morning uh, that I need to get accomplished, but I will see, uh, be in the office this afternoon. If you need anything, feel free to reach out, call, text, email. Um, and then we have a church board meeting tonight. Uh, get some get some stuff accomplished, some business done that we need to get done, reports and all that good stuff. Um, <clears throat> but I look forward to seeing you then on Wednesday. Wednesday we're going to have a great day. We're going to have uh, uh, our uh, our popcorn snow cone in the afternoon. And then we'll have our Bible study for adults. We'll have kids ministry. We'll have youth ministry Wednesday night. Uh, and I believe the Cowboys are going to be, uh, be there using uh, the property for cheerleading and some things like that. All right. Well, guys, that's all I got going on. Hope you're doing well. Uh, if you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out, okay? Love y'all. Appreciate you. Hope you're off to a good start today. And uh, remember, as he is a blessing to you, make sure that you find an opportunity to be a blessing to someone else. All right, guys, take care. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.